Okay, here comes your demo of our decompression scatter feeding exercise. So you can scatter feed just by tossing treats into the grass um, in an emergency situation, and that's one way to do it. And it's an effective way to do it as far as management's concerned. Um, a lot of times dogs are like, oh, is there food here? What's happening around me? I don't care. Um, and that can be a great way to manage the situation. But this, if, if we give it a little forethought, and we work towards changing the dog's perception of what they're supposed to be doing outside uh, and their environment by planning ahead, we can actually set them up to be more optimistic in their thought processes. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that now. <laughs> What you're seeing in the video is I'm going out ahead of the dog and I am planting success stations where I plan to walk and work the dog. Um, so I'm doing a couple things. First of all, I am making sure that it's um, an appropriate environment to work the dog. So there's no activity today because it was raining. Um, so there's very few triggers, although you will see that we do run into one trigger and you'll see how the dog reacts to it. <clears throat> but what I want you guys to do is to make sure that if you do run into a trigger, you do have an exit strategy, which where I'm working, being that I have home field advantage here at the training center, I've always got an exit strategy. Okay. So there's always a way for me to move away, get distance, and I always know what's happening around me. Um, so I myself think like a reactive dog when I do these setups. Okay. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch what happens and enjoy. What so before we even walk out the door, I have my dog's attention. I am showing her that it pays to stick with me. And when we go out the door, there is already food on the mat. So I can immediately cue her and okay, cast ready? her to that food. This does a couple right. things. It go. keeps her from worrying about what might be on the other side of the door, which is something all dogs Ooh, who are girl. reactive Scatter. will do. And also it keeps her focused on the task at hand, which is that we're walking together and spending time together. So we don't have to think about what could be on the other side of the door because we're thinking about each other and focusing on each other. So here you can see where she starts to think more about the environment. Right about here, she's gonna start being a little bit more vigilant and a little bit more alert. And so I just keep talking to her and oh, then we're almost at the first success station on our walk where I am going to tell her to go scatter. So scatter is the cue that I have been teaching her for this good exercise, girl, which means look for it. food on the ground or what wherever I point. Um, and so she sniffed for it very nicely and good found girl. it right by the tree. I like to scatter next to oh, um, there, huh? trees, poles, rocks. Um, I like to scatter next to physical markers um, or locations so that I can eventually use those as um, optimistic success stations um, to have the dog go sniff. And so this is really a way to teach them, um, you know, how to use the environment to reinforce um, coping skills when you're out walking. Um, and they're kind of like, I like calling them little success stations because... Uh, your dog has a history of really there, positive huh? things happening at that location. Ready? So if there's a marker there that says, this right is here. a positive location, positive Girl. memories have happened here, what it's gonna bring back those memories Girl. faster for the dog. Um, so try to aim for places, uh, especially if your dog likes to jump up on top of things, you know, a little bar core, they say. Um, that can be really great because if your dog uh, remembers they have positive memories, um, up on top of this rock, for example, um, it's going to be a nice visual for them when they see it. They're going to think of good things instead of scary things, hopefully. Scatter.
Good girl. Right now, a jogger is approaching very quickly, so I had to think on my feet and get distance. Good girl. I throw a few extra rewards on the ground just to make sure she keeps her nose down while the jogger goes by. Nice, ready? Scatter. Here. There's a whole bunch. Now that there's plenty of distance between us and the jogger, we can play her look at that game. What a good baby. Was there a people? Yes, there was a people. Good. Good girl. Your turn.